Come on in. It's open. Hello? Hello? Police department. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. I was just getting ready to take a bath and getting ready for bed. Getting ready for bed? The sun just came up. It's morning. I know. It's a little hard to explain. We've had a guest staying with us for the last week. Yesterday was his last day with us, so we had a going away party for him last night. He kept us up all night. I think I know the one you mean. You do? I'll bet he's the one who died. Died? No, he didn't die. Who told you that? Rumor is that somebody died here last night. So, where's the body? There's no body. Look, if somebody died here last night, there's got to be a body. Listen, it's a long story, and I'm very tired. I tell you what, why don't I get a little sleep, then I'll come down to the police station and tell you all about it this afternoon. Oh, sure. By then you'll have a chance to dispose of the body. Where is it? I told you there's no body. Everything is just fine. Really? I can explain it to you later. All right. Let's have a look in your backyard. I'm telling you, there's no body. All right, I'll tell you the story. But you're making a mountain out of a molehill. All right, I'm listening. Where do I start? Okay, first you should know that my house guest was a preacher. What? Yes, he's gone now. So you did kill him? He's not the one who died. Uh -huh. So now there's two bodies. No, I assure you, the preacher is very much alive. He was never dead. He's now on his way to a sus. A likely story. Will you just listen? He was preaching to about 30 of us last night. Right here in the upstairs room. It was a warm evening. And you know how preachers are. When they get in front of an audience, they tend to get a little windy. Anyway, after a few hours, my son got drowsy and dozed off. So after I woke him up, he got up and went over and sat in the open window, thinking that the cool evening air would revive him. That's when you pushed him to his death? No, I didn't push my own son out the window. Who, then? The preacher? Is that why he took off for a sauce? It was nothing like that. The cool night air didn't revive my son. He fell asleep again, but this time he fell backward out the window and landed on his head. Broke his neck? Yes. He died instantly. So, where's the body? I told you there's no body. The preacher came downstairs, put his arms around my son's body, and miraculously brought him back to life. Yeah, yeah, right. He did. I'm telling you, my son is very much alive. You expect me to believe that your kid broke his neck and died? But he's still walking around? Well, he's not walking around. Uh -huh. I knew it. He went to his room to go to sleep. Call him. I can't wake him now. He just went to bed. Call him or you're going to jail. All right. You did just. You did just. Nice try. Just come quietly. You did just. You did just. Yeah, mom. You call me? Yes, this police officer. I'll ask the questions. I don't want you giving him signals. You the one who fell out of the window up there. Yeah, that was me. It was kind of embarrassing. Did you hurt yourself? Yeah, didn't mom tell you? I broke my neck and died. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, I see you two have had time to get your stories to match. What's he talking about, mom? Your neck don't look broke to me. It's not broken anymore, Paul healed me. Paul? Did you say his name was Paul? Yeah. That's the preacher's name? Paul? Yeah. This wouldn't happen to be the Apostle Paul, would it? Yeah. Apostle Paul. Can I go back to bed now? I don't think the policeman believes you. Well, of course I believe you. I've seen Paul do that sort of thing before. Why didn't you say the preacher's name was Paul? Silly me. I thought the important thing was that there was no body. 
based on a play by Bob Snook. Conditions for use. Do not sell any part of this script, even if you rewrite it. Pay no royalties, even if you make money from performances. You may reproduce and distribute the script freely, but all copies must contain this copyright statement.